Hi, I'm State Representative Carolyn Tomei, and you are watching Milwaukee Today. Only today it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be talking about Milwaukee yesterday. I have three folks here who have strong roots in Milwaukee. All three were born and have lived almost all their lives in Milwaukee. So we're going to be talking to them today and learning about the history of Milwaukee. I have with me Enid Briggs, thank you Enid, and Don McLaughlin, and Ray Renfro. So help me join today these folks and learn about the history of Milwaukee. Ray, you have some history with Elk Rock Island, which you know is very near and dear to my heart because I live on yeah, the river across, right across the creek. Right, right. So tell me about the history that you have with Elk Rock Island. Well, my family, mother, father, and I moved to Elk Rock Island when I was about two years old, or no, one and a half, and we lived there for a little over a year and uh, then left. But it was uh, kind of a pioneer type situation. The uh, house was not much. This give you an idea. Right. That does look pioneer, doesn't it? Yes. You see the river in the background there. Right. So how did they happen to get on the river, mm -hmm. on the island? Oh, well, my dad, times were a little hard after World War I, and he got a job in a shingle mill, which is across in Milwaukee at that time. You can see it in the far reaches of the right. river there, just vaguely. And he also got free rent on the island in the cabin that you saw by the virtue of the fact that he cleaned up the dance hall. There's a big dance hall there, and he yeah. cleaned that up after dances and took care of it. And also, there is and still is, there was and still is a lighthouse of sorts on the island, a white tower on the, uh, the west side. On the west side, right. And uh, his job was to light it at night, at dusk, and then in the morning, put it out and keep the wick trimmed and keep the oil filled up and everything like that. So right. in return for that, he, we got the house. Wonderful. Good deal for him and for everybody. Yeah. So now there wasn't a bridge that went over the island. No, not that so I So how did your folks get back and forth? Well, it was by boat, actually a rowboat. And uh, it was not a too long of a row across to Milwaukee, but it was interesting. My mother, <laughs> who had never been out of London in her life, practically, was uh, used to take me on the boat and dress warmly, of course, and row across the river and back with me in the boat, tied in, of course. And uh, we didn't have life jackets in those days. No. <laughs> and uh, that was it. My mother is interesting. Would you like to hear a little sure. bit about her? She uh, was an English woman born in London and had never been out of London more than 50 miles, I don't think. I think they went to Brighton on holidays. And then when she met my dad, and he was in the service at a ball game, baseball game, and the romance developed. He was sent home when the war was over, and my mother went back to work at a factory or something, I don't know where it was, and then he sent for her and said, will you marry me? Yes, okay, I'll send you the money, you come across. So she came across the ocean and across the United States at the age of 19, never been out of London before, and uh, landed in Milwaukee, and uh, they were married the next day. And about 10 months later, I was born, and, and there we are. Oh, that's great. Ray. Good. Well, I think there's a story, isn't there, about her wanting to sort of take a little excursion around the island? Yeah, she got, she got, got I think, a little overconfident with the rowboat and uh, decided, well, I'll just take a trip around the island and see what the rest of this place looks like. Put me in the boat and started rowing, and pretty soon the current got a hold of her and she couldn't get the darn thing straightened out and drifted downstream until somebody saw her condition and towed her back in. Wow. <laughs> she never tried that again. Yeah. Well, knowing what that's like in the springtime when the current is really yeah, strong, yeah. that can easily happen. That must yeah. have been real scary. That's neat. And you've lived in Milwaukee almost all your life. Yes, I was born in Milwaukee. And right. And tell us a little bit about your connection with Perry Pharmacy. I know that you used to uh, tend the, 
the lawns of some folks who lived near the river. The Knight Estate over on uh, the point. And, and that was off Lava Drive, and that yeah, estate right, is now exactly. gone. Yeah, right, exactly. And I used to uh, tend the lawn there and then have a root beer in Perry Pharmacy when I came off work. And one day Mr. Perry said, do you want a job? I said, what? He said, I need a fountain boy. And I said, yeah, well, how much to pay? It paid, I think, 10 cents an hour more than I was making. And so I started uh, pulling sodas at the Perry Pharmacy. And one day he came to me and said, uh, how would you like to be a pharmacist? I said, well, I can't afford to go to Oregon State. And I'm like, no, we got North Pacific College of Dentistry and Pharmacy in, at 6th and Oregon Street in Portland. It's, the building is still there. And uh, he said, you can, you know, you sc scrape up a little money and you can go there. It doesn't, there. There's tuition and all that. And my folks paid for the tuition and books, and I paid everything else and got an education in pharmacy for three years. And in the fourth year, I was in the National Guard to make more money so I could pay my tuition. And the National Guard was mobilized, and uh, so I lost the fourth year of, I didn't finish that till after I got back from service. Mm -hmm. Right. And so then you also were a pharmacist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I graduated years. after I came back from uh, the Army. I got in, <laughs> I phoned immediately when I got back, I phoned the school and said, when can I register for fall term? This is in the fall, in September, 1st October. And the registrar said, well, tomorrow's the last, or Monday is the last day. This was on a Friday. So I hitchhiked down to Corvallis and enrolled and finished school. Oh, good for you, Ray. Good. And now you then have lived, you, you grew up on Monroe, do I remember that correctly? Uh, after Elk Rock Island, yeah, no, we were, I think I was born, actually I was born on 29th Street in Milwaukee before we moved to the island and uh, in a house that's still extant up there and uh, then we moved up to Monroe Street in Milwaukee and then over to Jefferson Street in East Milwaukee and we uh, always had the saying the kids in Milwaukee wore shirts and ties and the kids in Ardenwald live in caves. You know, right <laughs> <there>? <laughs> Do you think there's truth to that? <laughs> now, Enid and Don, you come from a wonderful old family, the Berkemeyers, right? So tell us some about that. Well, our uh, grandfather came and he said, to Portland in about 1877, right? They built the house in 1879. I have the... Uh, deed here that uh, was dated December 19th, 1879. It was filed uh, on December 22nd, and uh, that was down on the Kellogg Lake, and uh, there were 10 children in the family, and uh, our parents grew up there. Originally, it was uh, sitting the house was sitting, and Don has a picture of the house there. It was sitting up where the streetcar tracks are. And it was in 1892, um, the East Side Railroad Company, that my grandfather sold the land there for the uh, streetcar company. And uh, that was the first time then they had to move the house. So they moved it about, was it where the, uh, about where McLaughlin, McLaughlin Boulevard where is McLaughlin now. McLaughlin Boulevard is now. And so they moved the house to where the, the street is. And then when they put McLaughlin Boulevard in, they had to move the house again. So it's now nice. down over the hill. Right, uh, right on uh, Kellogg Lake, right? right? on Kellogg Lake yeah. property. That's where uh, Monroe Sweetland lives now. Right. And uh, that was the way it was move from one place to the other. That's wonderful. Don Both the streetcar and the McLaughlin Boulevard bisected the property, left part of it down between there and the lake, and the other part ran on up the hill to the top of <coughs> River Road. Right. And there was, what, 20-some acres in the farm? So. so a lot of that is now, uh, what is now, uh, Rose Villa and... Um, it did go quite well, It was that down the far. hill from there. Oh, down the hill where, from there. Where uh, River Road takes the S turn. Right. That was about the top of the property. Ah, I see. Later, one of my aunts moved up there. And, uh, but it's, 
it's a real interesting place because we had many ice skating parties and my uncle Ice skating on the, on what Kellogg Lake? Kellogg Lake. It used to freeze, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My uncle used to test it, and they and uh, then after he tested it, everybody'd go out and go skating. Uh, my mother graduated from the first graduating class of Milwaukee High School. It was in 1914. Wow. And uh, before that, those that went to high school had to go into Portland. But after that, the school grew, of course. And where was the first school? It was uh, across the street from where the city hall is now. Yeah. Okay, so where it is now the parking lot there on Main Street? Yes. Okay, right. And so didn't it then also move into city hall or was Well, was they that? built a new school where the city hall is now That's that later became just the junior high. Yeah. But it was the school at that time. There was the first the first right. one that was across the street oh, from city hall. I see, and that hall. was in the, the um, it was lot. one room and then enlarged to two rooms. Wow. Then the high school is where the city hall is. Yeah, now this is in front of what was the high school that later became the junior high. Right. That's okay. where the city hall is now. Right. And you have memories of that. In fact, all of you have memories of that, right? Of right. moving? Right. Yeah. Now, that you were... I was in the last class to graduate from the old junior high school. And that was in the old... The they were building the... the I say old, the new high school that has now been sold, of course, at the time. and uh, the junior, What's now the junior high? What's now the junior high right. and will be sold to another interest. And uh, yeah, I was yeah. in the last class. Well, talk a little bit about that. That was interesting to me about how you moved everything from the, what's now City Hall. That's these people. Oh, they, these people. Well, that's right. You were the older ones. You had already gone. That's oh, yeah, I was... Yeah, you didn't fool around with Are these them, kids. Right? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, I was uh, my age group went into junior high, started the the school year for my seventh grade in that old building, but somewhere during the year, I guess it was in the spring, uh, the new building was done. So we had a, a play day all day of all the students carrying books and desks and and tables and everything across the field there into the new building. Which is now the junior high. Which is now yeah. the Milwaukee Junior yeah, High. Right. And uh, that, that we had a ball. I mean, that was the most fun day of school we ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, too, in junior high, we used to have uh, parades through town and dress up days. Remember those parades? And, yeah. And, uh, what would you be celebrating? What were the parades for? I'm not sure what we celebrated. I don't think it was necessarily <laughs> Halloween. It was just a parade. <laughs> dress up day, they call dress it. Dress up day. Oh, dress up day. Was, yeah, that yeah. was quite that a thing. That's what it was called. Now, your grandfather was a pretty remarkable person. He he was a builder, among other things, right? Right. So right. talk about some about some of the things that he built. One of the things he built was the uh, that place at Carver. What was the name of that? Oh, Talina's. Uh, Talina's. That house. And, uh, and it's still there, right? It's still there, and it's, it's still lace and various things. Beautiful gardens around it. Uh, he built the old evangelical church that had a round dome on it in Milwaukee. Now, uh, is that church gone? That's that church gone. is gone. That's where the post office is now. Okay. Around, that's where it was. Uh, he built our church on the hill, Minthorn Community. Uh, it was one of the early churches. Uh, he built uh, many of the houses around, I believe. And then his uh, son went into contracting work. Dan Berkemeyer built many of the overpasses on the freeway from Portland to Salem and uh, some of the other buildings that were around. Uh, he built the bridge on over Kellogg Lake on Oatfield Road and some of those really? buildings, right? Right, and those are still in existence, yes, right? Yes, right. And he built the uh, tunnel. Here's the oh, evangelical that's... church that he oh, built that's in beautiful. Milwaukee. That's you a classic. probably remember that, don't you? It's where the post office is Vaguely, now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a shame that some it of It was right across the street from the saloon. As I remember, oh, yes. on the that edge would of the lake. Easy. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. The right? centers and the right. centers. This is a picture of him 
uh, oh, like with your grandfather. Too, so, nice. yeah. Yes. We well, have some pictures of some other wonderful buildings there too, don't you? Well, th these are the schools again. He was he was involved in that school, the junior high as we called it. Uh, this thing on the back shows that he was uh, he and two other people were the board that were uh, making a deal with this man Rockford for five hundred and nineteen dollars to do all the brickwork on that school. So he was involved with that. He was involved with the first. State Bank right, in its early was. days too. Uh -huh. Now, is this the original, or the the same junior high that's there now? No, no. that's that's where the uh, city hall is now. Oh. That, that's where I went to school. Yeah, yeah. That's and that's that where, is a large building. I had no I idea. That. To uh, carry the stuff yeah. across to the what's now. Yeah. And that's the Milwaukee first where my mother graduated from. Yes. That was quite an accomplishment in those days yes, for a woman was. to be graduated. This was the Berkemeyer home. He Isn't built that. Isn't that beautiful? And, and he, it still looks very much the same. It does. And he uh, built yeah. the home that I was born in for his, for my mom, his daughter. Oh, and really? one of the big homes right behind our place, that, uh, because my grand my uh, grandfather on the other side came up where I live on Briggs Avenue about 1900, and uh, he built. Uh, one of the big houses up there that some of the relatives lived in and around that area. And there. you still live on that street? I still live on that street, right. So the house that you live in, when was that? That big? was the third one that we lived in. I was born up the street, moved once to another one, and then down where I am now. Uh -huh. You don't want to move far away, do you? No, that's no. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about some of these other pictures. Well, this is a group of pictures I put together for my mom when she was having her 94th Christmas to remind her of some of the old days in the Milwaukee area. They're uh -huh. pictures of Milwaukee, but they this looked far different than it does now. 1852, <clears throat> taken of Milwaukee, and this looks like it's about in the Milwaukee Bay, doesn't it? Well, that's taken from across the river. You're right. looking at the river yes. front mm -hmm. of Milwaukee. Right, right. Okay, and this is also from the west side looking yeah. to now there's that, I mean, from the east side. That so. school we were just talking about where the city hall is now, you can see it's steeple right there. Right, right. Oh, and this is the White House that's on the west side of the river. That there's Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now this is the island station area before McLaughlin Boulevard was there, which is was her front yard where she grew up, so she was interested in... That trestle is still, uh, that's the same old trestle. Yeah, and oh, see in this it? picture, the trestle really? isn't there yet. Yeah, I see. Oh. Same, same intersection. And this was taken in 1933, and this is River Road looking south toward Island Station, which is the area that I live in, which mm -hmm. I find very interesting. And that's also Island Station. Uh, note excavation for the superhighway, which is yeah, what the was a, it's a little <laughs> crowded four-lane road now. Right. <laughs> yeah. was that was when the house it moved a, the second time from there. It was a speedway out through the farming country when oh, it went in. Oh, boy, yeah. Was it? Brownell's Holly Farm was about all that was out there. Yeah. And that was there for a long time. When yeah. I moved here in 66, that Holly Farm, well, it was still there until this late 60s, early 70s. I don't 70s? know. I can't remember. I think so. And My Rook's daughter. hot dog place at uh, Oh, that's James still there, Rook's. At, yes, uh, that's <laughs> wonderful. And here's a picture of the flood in 1890. Yeah, the Harlow family were old timers. Mrs. Harlow was the cook at the grammar school all she of our was. years, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Yeah, uh -huh. she was. And her <laughs> house got wet up to the top of the windows, I guess, uh -huh. every winter. Every winter. Oh, that would be mm -hmm. terrible. And this is the fire department on Monroe Street. And the Seth Llewellyn House. Now, I where was the, that. now where was this house? The Seth Llewellyn House. That's about. It was on the highway. Uh, you mentioned where it about. Yeah, it was. was uh, uh, oh, where the Texaco? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, the, yeah, the Texaco the station Texaco is now, was. right? Mm. And, and that I, was torn down. Is that right? Just yes. A big weeping willow. Well, it would have been a beautiful right house there. across from Mullen's garage then. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, we all talk about how Milwaukee has changed, and we see pictures like this and see how <laughs> drastically it's changed. First Milwaukee School. Now, this is not the. No, where this was this is one? this is where the parking lot is for the city hall now, okay. across the street okay. from where they built the 
And the here's new one. Milwaukee new. School, 1901 and 02. And your mother was in, both your mothers were in this? Well, I don't know that particular I'm picture. Probably sure. was, because that's my uncle, Aaron McLaughlin, there, and she had him for a teacher. This, this Somebody from the principal. family. <laughs> <Anyway, laughs> <involved Right>. <laughs> With those 10 kids, there was always somebody in school. <laughs> <laughs> and this lists all the people. And Ida Berkmeyer was the teacher. Now who? That, that's my mom's older oh, sister, and okay. my mom is. And that was Ida. Yeah, that was Ida. My mom, I think, is in right in there. Okay. Class of 1910. So is your mother in this picture too? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think they were people she knew. All right. Here's some old pictures of downtown Milwaukee. Now that's Grocery Wissinger's street. store. One of them is on the east side of the street and the other is on the west side. This is on the west side. There's the bank building uh -huh. that Still Terry there. Pharmacy was in. Yeah. Those buildings are there now. Bill McDonald's law office is there. This was over on the other side and that store became, what was it, Dahlman? Dahlman uh, Johnson? Dahlman Johnson, yeah. yeah. And so what is in this building now? What is there? Uh, 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 video stuff? Uh, or? Uh, Computers or something oh, like that. Oh, right. I okay. think. Right, right. That's on the corner of Monroe and Main, right? Up in the upper part of that was Dr. Remley's office. When Dr. Dr. Se Dr. Secor's office. Right. Mm -hmm. He was the one that brought me into the world. And me too. And probably you too. No, and Dr. Stern's out Dr. of Selwood. Stern, okay. Uh, but I remember we always went to him for little things as yeah. our doctor. Long, scary, right. creaky stairs up there. <laughs> Afraid you were going to get a shot. Or... The Perry Pharmacy wrapped around that bank yeah. building. You had an entrance L, on L both shape. Main Street and what, Monroe? Started out and... facing Main Street, yeah. then they built an L that went out to Monroe Street. Mm -hmm. The soda fountain was off the Monroe fountain. Street, yeah. and the drug, his little drug section was back in the corner, That's and right. the part that went up to Main Street was school supplies. That's where we always school went for school supplies. supplies. And yeah. he also dabbled in Victrolas when they came. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. These wind up the old cabinet type, you know, right. and he yeah. sell those. Well, when did he move over to the other side of Monroe? Oh, he died, oh, he died. and uh, he was bought out by Mr. Hargrave, and they built the new thing. Kirkpatrick built it, in fact, the new building, which is now the computer place there on the, mm -hmm. on the corner. Monolith, is that what that is? Yeah, I think yeah. it is, yeah. And you'll see in, impressed into the facade up top 1953, which was when that was built. Oh, that's when it was. We moved across the street. And were you still working there then? Oh, yeah, I was still working there. Did Mr. Perry have his little bulldog when you worked for him? Patsy? <laughs> I don't know the name. Yeah, Patsy was there. Little bulldog, it was yeah. always there. Now this is Milwaukee Grange. Now which Grange was this? Was this the one that's on River Road? No, it was up on uh, uh, by the, the near the high school corner. Goes by the what street, Washington? Washington. Goes by the high school there. Yeah. Yes, that was there for a long time. Ah. Then they moved. Uh, okay, um, <coughs> streetcar depot. And is, did you say that? Was, where was this? On the west side of Front Street at Monroe. What, what was there's Front a, Street? There's a, well, Front Street is what now would be McLaughlin oh, Boulevard. Oh, okay. Main Street was up one block. One block east. But this is where, well, there's an antique store there now. Yeah. The actual building, I think, was between the antique store and that tavern or whatever south. It's yeah. a vacant mm -hmm. spot now. Ah. But, okay. And here's the Milwaukee Saloon. This picture is a pretty famous picture. A lot of it's uh, been right. It's uh -huh. been reproduced, been copied. right? So and it is have some names of people here. Do you know any of these folks? Well, I remember Don Lewelling. Oh yeah, Don. During uh, he was fire chief during the early yeah he was fire chief eventually and uh, during the early part of the war World War II, he gave uh, lectures and instructions to civil. Civil, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? The civil defense. Civil, civil defense. defense groups, which uh, farmers belong to, to, to put out fire bombs in their community. And I can remember him giving lectures on that. And during the war, it was real interesting up on, I remember on Menthorn Hill, they had one of the big tower lookout stations, and my mother would man that every well, night. Well, my mother used to be in it. Yes, yeah, and they'd know. go up at night and man this uh, station Look, looking for station airplanes. For and every time our uh, 
youth group had a party at the church. They had a blackout, it seemed like. And uh, I mean, real interesting things happened. And this is during, during the Second time. World War. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Good. That is a beautiful um, saloon, beautiful. Oh, it is. What do you yeah. call that? What am I trying to say? Bar. Bar, yes. Beautiful. I wonder whatever when happened to that. Was Where the was the saloon? Fanciest spot it was in Milwaukee. A lake, wasn't it? I'm not sure where that was. You never went there, Enid? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of low at that time. <laughs> yeah. I think it was on uh, on the uh, lake about where, uh, well, where the current Milwaukee post office is, mm -hmm. kind of across the street there on the edge. You know, they filled in a lot and everything. Yeah. It's different yeah. than it was, yeah. but uh, I think it was. Well, then it would have been across from the evangelical church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's what you said earlier. Yeah. It's too bad to lose that. It looks like it's really beautiful. Monroe and Roberts, General Blacksmith, and where was that? That was the car barn then, eventually. I think so, although at one time they had a, a, I remember my mom talking about Bid Roberts having a blacksmith uh, shop up right opposite where they built the Baptist church up on 42nd. Oh. But I think this sure. is a bigger one down in what they called the car barn. And this, this is, is Dr. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, this is the first graduating class. Uh, it has the names of the people. There was two fellows and two girls. This is my mother right there. Yeah. Rachel one of four Berkemeyer. people who graduated. All right. We have about one minute, and unfortunately, we're not going to get through all these pictures. We'll just have to come back and do this again. <laughs> well, thank you so much for bringing these pictures and bringing yourselves, and it's wonderful you to get bet. these You're great welcome. stories of Milwaukee. And I really would love to have you come back and we'll talk more about the old sure. days because some of this, of course, is all new to us, even those of us who've lived here 36 years. <laughs> so thank you very much, You're Enid, welcome. Don, welcome. Ray, and thank you all for watching us. This is State Representative Carolyn Tomei, and you've been watching Milwaukee Today with an edition of Milwaukee Yesterday. Bye-bye. See you again next week.